Hello all and welcome back. In this video, we are going to have a quick comparison between SQS standard and FIFO queues. Amazon Simple Queue Service or SQS supports two types of queues, standard and FIFO queue, which have quite different features and use cases. Let's go through them one by one. Message order. Standard queues provide best effort ordering, which ensures that messages are delivered in the same order as they are sent. However, as SQS provides highly distributed architecture and redundantly stores the messages across multiple SQS servers that allows high throughput, there is a chance that more than one copy of the message might be delivered out of order. FIFO queues offer exactly first-in, first-out delivery. The order in which the messages are sent and received is strictly preserved. In terms of delivery, standard queues guarantee that a message is delivered at least once and duplicates can be introduced into the queue. FIFO queues ensure exactly once processing and a message is delivered exactly once and remains available until a consumer processes and deletes it. Duplicates are not introduced into the queue. FIFO uses message deduplication ID token for deduplication of sent messages. If a message with a particular message deduplication ID is sent successfully, any messages sent with the same message deduplication ID are accepted successfully but aren't delivered during the 5-minute deduplication interval. FIFOQ also supports content-based deduplication now. Throughput or transaction per second. Standard queues support high throughput and allows nearly unlimited number of transactions per second. FIFO queues are currently limited to 300 transactions per second. It can be increased to 3000 using batching, where you can batch maximum 10 messages per operation. Compatibility While SQS standard queues support all features, events and services, FIFO queue currently doesn't support SQS buffered asynchronous client and events and services like S3 event notification, auto scaling lifecycle hooks, IoT rule actions, and Lambda dead letter queues. In terms of use cases, standard queues can be used in any scenario as long as the consumer applications can process messages that arrive more than once and out of order and require high throughput. FIFO queues are more designed to enhance messaging between applications when the order of operations and events is critical or where duplicates can't be tolerated although with lower throughput. So that's it for a quick comparison between SQS standard and FIFO queues. I hope this would help you understand the key differences and use cases for each of them. Thank you all. Alright, that was it. Thank you for watching. You can check out my website and connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For any feedback, please leave a comment down below. To see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.